Hello, everyone. Thank you for com uh, coming to my presentation. And here I'll present our work, Higher Order Mass Saber. And this work is jointly done with Jan Peter Dianvers, Mikhail van Berdanok, and Angshuman Kormakar, and Ingrid Farwald. Now, I'll start my presentation with a very brief introduction about post quantum cryptography. It is a branch of public key cryptography which assures security in when large scale quantum computers become uh, available. And it also prevents classical attacks. And more importantly, in ca it can run on classical computers. Now, Recent development, uh, due to the recent development in quantum computers, now we have more than 100 qubit quantum computer. So NIST started a post-quantum cryptographic standardization procedure in 2016. Uh, based on three, it was based on three categories. One is key encapsulation mechanism, public encryption, and digital signature. And in, oh, there is a typo that uh, in 2017, uh, there, round one submission was closed and in 2019 NIST published uh, round, uh, round two submission and uh, candidates and in 2020 they have uh, they published uh, all the round three candidates and they give some standards uh, in 2022 in July. So and now I'll briefly go through the third round candidates those are uh, finalist candidates were Crystal Skyver, Saber, Intro, and McAleese. Uh, in between those three games are based on lattice based. And there are three uh, finalist digital signatures also. And there are five alternative game or PKE candidates and three digital signature candidates. There's, uh, there's, those are third round uh, submit, uh, candidates. Now, in last July, NIST announced a uh, standard. It's uh, for KM or PKE, they have selected Crystal Skyver for, uh, as a standard, and they have selected these three, uh, can you see my cursor? Yeah, these three digital signatures algorithm. And for, four, as, uh, for fourth round candidates, they actually advance few KM or PKE to ad, ad, uh, advance in fourth round uh, for, for in fourth round competition and for further analysis. And they have uh, decided to open a new call for digital signatures. Now, real world crypto systems are vulnerable against side channel attacks. So these attacks actually exploit the power, sorry, my guess. Sorry. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, so, uh, real world crypto systems are vulnerable against side channel attacks. These attacks exploit the power consumptions, electromagnetic leakages, timing information from the device, which actually, uh, uh, which actually performing the uh, cryptographic algorithm. And this information, uh, this leaked information, can be used to leak the sensitive key such as for KM, it is secret key. So uh, for, as a protection, masking is a well-known uh, countermeasure against side channel attacks. Here I will give a very brief uh, idea about what is masking. So in uh, the first couple of pictures, it shows that, uh, uh, it shows a cryptographic algorithm which actually uses a secret key S and it, uh, it takes input as an input and output uh, gives, it gives output as output. So if, uh, if an attacker can probe the, uh, the uh, can, uh, I, we are assuming first that we, an attacker can probe only once. So an attack, if an attacker uses side channel information uh, regard, uh, regarding S, in that case, uh, that attacker can find S because they are using that extra information, extra side channel information from the device, from the device, which actually uh, executing that cryptographic algorithm, this cryptographic algorithm. Now, in the master version, we actually split this secret key into multiple shares. Here, I am talking about first order masking, so I'm 
speed splitting it into two shares and performing this algorithm on each share separately. So in that case, if attacker probing only in one, only once, in that case, they, he will get information regarding this S1, one share of secret. But he will not get the other shares. And to get the both shares, actually S1 and S2 are independent. So to get uh, the to get information about the whole secret key, it needs to uh, get both uh, information regarding both secret key. So at, it will become hard to find the whole uh, secret S. Now, uh, in this work, our goal is to uh, make a site channel secure post-quantum module learning with error or module learning with rounding-based key encapsulation mechanism as the st uh, only standard PQs, uh, only standard came is Kyber, which is based on module learning with error-based problem. And uh, another uh, uh, finalist, third round finalist, Saber, is based on module learning with rounding problem. So here our target is to generalize MAST implementation by parameterized security order. Now uh, the challenges, here the challenges are module learning with error or module learning with rounding based constructions uses arithmetics and Boolean, both kind of operations. So uh, they need some conversion algorithm which, is, which are expensive. And uh, there is a component in the uh, in the games, which is uh, mask polynomial comparison, that is easy for first order, but it becomes expensive to support arbitrary order. Now I'll talk about a very brief uh, details about what is higher order masking. Here uh, we are uh, here. Let's say it's uh, what is T order masking. In that case. Uh, to, uh, to make a scheme, uh, to use a T order masking on a scheme, first we have to split the secret S into T plus one shares and perform all the operations of the algorithm on T plus one shares separately. Here I have uh, splitted the secret S into S0 to ST. So this, instead of uh, S, we now will use that S0 to ST on, uh, with this cryptographic algorithm. And here the attack model is, adversary can see up to T intermediate values. I, um, intermediate, uh, yeah, intermediate sensitive values. So, now uh, if attacker gets T intermediate values as the T shares, uh, T plus one shares are independent and only relation is S equal to S zero, uh, the summing up of all shares is zero to ST plus ST, so, uh, if attacker gets uh, t, t secret shares of S, in that case also attacker will not find S. I mean, it will. It is a hard problem. They can find, but it will take a lot of time. So, yeah. Now, I'll give a very brief introduction about Sever as we are working with. As uh, hard, uh, we are, we have implemented the uh, masking technique on Sever. So the. Uh, uh, it is a module learning with rounding based problem and it is a, a variant of uh, module learning with rounding is a variant of learning with errors problem. It's a NIST third round finalist as I mentioned before and it's designed in Cosic, as you may know. It consists three algorithms, key generation, encapsulation and decapsulation. Now any, and it is also a CCA secure game, chosen, uh, chosen ciphertext attack secure game. So uh, here, any secret key used multiple times for the decapsulation operation. So, uh, and this is the picture of uh, the decapsulation algorithm of, oh sorry, it's a typo, it's Saber. A decapsulation algorithm of Saber. Here, uh, here the secret key is uh, circled in red, so, and uh, all the block, all the uh, blocks which interacts with the secret key that's are colored in gray. Now here, uh, this operation is the most sensitive operation in a game as it uses long term secret key S. So this S will be used multiple times, uh, and if if 
is gets leaked by some uh, by when it's actually perform it's executing in some devices. In that case, attacker can use that S for next uh, next ex next uh, next op uh, to get next M. I mean next messages, all those things. So yeah, the whole thing will be actually get uh, exposed. Now uh, I'll talk about few masking techniques. One is arithmetic masking. Now these are actually, as it uh, saver scheme, as you can see here, saver scheme uses a lot of mul uh, addition, multiplication, all those arithmetic operation. And also I mentioned before that saver scheme also use a lot of Boolean operations. So we need two kind of masking techniques here. One is arithmetic masking and another is Boolean masking. Now in arithmetic masking, the secret share S, the secret S actually divide, uh, splits into T plus one shares. Here S02, ST. And the secret can be retrieved after performing the addition on uh, S0 to ST in module Q. So this operation, uh, this uh, masking techniques is useful for modul modular addition, modular subtraction and modular multiplication, all those kind of arithmetic operations. And it's very similar for Boolean masking also. In Boolean masking, uh, S also splits into T plus one shares uh, for T or a Boolean masking, but the secret can be found after uh, performing ZOR on all the shares. And this technique is useful for Boolean operations such as ZOR and OR, SHIFT, all those kind of operations. So now here, uh, the, in this picture, I, uh, I, uh, I used color blue to denote arithmetic mask operation. Here, as you can see uh, uh, that uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction, all those operations as it, these are arithmetic operations. So we used this arithmetic masking uh, technique to mask these operations as a, it is cheaper to use arithmetic masking. And in the uh, unmasked version of saver, unmasked version of uh, uh, decapsulation algorithm of saver actually uses more than half of the time to perform these modular operations. But yeah, due to this arithmetic masking, they uh, becomes a bit uh, cheaper than all those conversion algorithms. But it's it was really a huge over, uh, I mean, it takes uh, more than half of the performance of that decapsulation algorithm in the unmasked version. So, and now, uh, I, yeah, in this picture, I present uh, the Boolean mask operations of Saber, which I used color orange to present. And here, as I mentioned before, the shift operation is easy to easy and safe to use masked with Boolean masking. So here we used uh, the Boolean masking technique to mask this shift and these shift operations. And this equality check actually do the uh, and operation. So this is also a Boolean operation. So we use Boolean masking to mask that thing. And G and XOF, G is here hash function and XOF is a pseudo random generator. We, this uses Kechak and Kechak, uh, uh, Kechak is, is uh, less costly to mask use Boolean masking. So we use Boolean masking on these components also. Now there is another component that's, uh, that is centered binomial distribution. This used to generate secret, uh, secret share during this computation. And here, as you can see, the input of this, uh, this function, this sub function is Boolean masked, and the output used for used in modular multiplication. So in that case, we need arithmetic mask share. So here we need to convert Boolean shares to arithmetic shares also. So we used two kind of masking techniques in uh, to mask centered binomial distribution, beta mu here, and we need to do the Boolean to arithmetic conversion also, and. Here I have used both color to show this, both kind of mask, uh, it is using both kind of mask. Now B2A operation is 
also a very costly operation as these are conversion operations. And yeah, we, yeah. Now you, another thing, we had, the last component we required for mask the whole uh, saver decapsulation algorithms is A to B conversion. Here as you can see, this uh, in the blue part, there in the after subtraction, there are the, all those things are arithmetically masked. And for shifting, we need Boolean mask, of, Boolean mask thing because it's easy. So, and same happens this area also. So we used arithmetic to Boolean conversion to convert uh, those arithmetic share to Boolean share. And here we need in three places, this uh, component. So we try to make uh, it faster in our work. Now, Dianvers et al. proposed a fast bit slice A to B conversion, bit slice techniques used for making this masking algorithm faster. And another thing is uh, secure and is a sub function which used in that A to B conversion. And Brochen et al. actually improved that secure add function in their paper. Uh, so we in our work, we have combined both of these results and we got uh, uh, improvements. For fast order uh, version, we uh, improved almost 9% and for second order, it's 16% and for third order, it's 17%. And kindly note that this, all these uh, uh, implementation are performed in ARM Cortex-M4 platform and we have used PQM4 framework which is a post-quantum crypto library for Cortex M4, uh, for Cortex M4. And we have compiled with ARM NUN EABI GCC with version 9.2.1. Now these slides present the implementation results of mass saver. Here, as you can uh, see that fast order mass implementation has over it uh, to almost 2.7 times. So, and for second order, it's to almost five, five, and for third order, it is 7.7. .7. Here, for masked, uh, for performing mask technique or on the decapsulation algorithm, and to maintain the security of the uh, assumption, we need to use some random numbers. And these random numbers actually used uh, during the secure add or secure and all those kind of operations when performing with Boolean shares. And these random numbers actually uh, for fast order implementation, it's 12, al it takes almost 12 KB random bytes and it takes also a lot of time to generate. And for second order implementation, it takes almost 42 kilobyte uh, random numbers. And for third order, it takes 91 kilobyte. Now, in our work, uh, we also masked a variant of Saber, which is U-Saber. Here, I will give a very brief introduction about U-Saber. U-Saber is a, a variant of Saber. Uh, it's also called Uniform Saber, and it's proposed during third round sub NIST submissions. And only difference, uh, differences with Saber is that it uses different secret sampler. Here, it uses UU. Uh, which is uni centered uniform distribution uh, instead of vitamin, which, which was centered uh, binomial distribution. And it also uses slightly reduced parameter set that actually helps it to get better performance. Uh, and we have applied masking on U-Saver. There we need to, we have used all the Saver mask component except for the, this different secret sampler part. Here also we, uh, we need uh, almost same thing, uh, but here we need few different, uh, less functions. And here also we need both kind of masking and A to a B to A conversion also needed, but it is less costly as, as it uses less, uh, is uh, use every, uh, parameter set of use ever is slightly reduced than saver version. Now this is the implementation results for uh, secret generation, which is only different component in u uh, than Saber. Here, uh, as you can see, in unmasked version, the, uh, uh, the unmasked version, uh, 
it takes only 40% of time than seven. And here we have uses that XOF, that serial random generator plus uh, the secret sampler version all together because it's actually takes the whole, whole thing is actually secret generation there. And for fast order, it takes only 44% time than saver and for second order, it's 47% and for third order, it's for 54% time than saver. So this component actually makes you saver faster than saver. And it happened due to the, this different sampler and also the reduced parameter set. Now, this is the implementation results for the whole masked u -saver. Here, as we can see, the uh, overhead over factor for fast order, one is uh, 2.32 times 32, and for second order, it's 4.19. And for third order, it is 6.54. So here over it reduces than saver. And the random byte requirements here also less than saver's one. Here random bytes for first order require 10 kilobyte, for second order 36 kilobyte, and for third order 78 kilobyte. Now, in this slide, I compare the uh, our scheme with state of the art. Here we have presented Kyber's implementation, which was taken from Brochen et al's implementation. And in this slide, we have taken saver as a base implementation. And as you can see, the use saver, uh, the performance of unmasked use saver is a bit slower. As it's not the optimized version, it uses Tumcook uh, instead of the first entity. Here, saver and Kyber both uses entity multiplication. And for fast order multiplication, uh, for, for for every order multiplication, for any order multiplication of u saver, actually, uh, sorry, any order uh, decapsulation algorithm of u saver uses almost 20% less time than saver. It takes almost 80% time. And for Kyber, uh, Kyber for first order, uh, Kyber takes almost 2.255% uh, uh, time, and for second order uh, in Kyber, it takes two. Uh, 213 times, uh, sorry, 213 uh, percent, and for third order it takes 193 percent. So the any order implementation of Kyber is slower than Saber. Now some future works here. Uh, it would be a good future work if one improve the performance of masking building blocks, especially that A to B or B to A conversion algorithms, this actually makes things slower. So, and another uh, good uh, research direction can be reduce the random bytes requirement in masking scheme. And uh, another, another direction, another good point, maybe use our masking, uh, masking techniques on Kyber, which we have used in uh, techniques which are, we have used in Saber. And another uh, attack is another uh, site, uh, no, another practical attack is fault attack. This actually use, uh, this also exploit the implementation of, uh, implementation vulnerability of any cryptographic scheme. So, and masking cannot prevent these attacks. Sometimes masking makes this attack uh, faster. So it would be a good uh, research direction to protect uh, post quantum schemes against fault attacks. And yeah, that's all. Thank you.